Hey you guys, welcome to another review. It's not a doll review, but, um, they're Ninja Turtles. I haven't done a Ninja Turtle review in like forever, because I haven't gotten any. But, um, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I got a message and I wanted to see what it was. Sorry, at first, like, I'm going to tell you guys I'm sorry real quick, because if I am, um, like, I am so out of it today, it's not even funny. I need something that makes me feel better, so I'm doing a review and a video, and I'm playing with my toys. Um, I got the other turtles, you guys, if you watch me pretty often or watch my vlogs, uh, you guys knew I got him, and I finally found the other three turtles. Um, they were hard to find, it was hard to find the ones with the pupils and the irises, but I did find them. So we got Donatello. Michelangelo and Raphael. So, um, these are really poseable figures. I don't, like, I only got the mutant line, and I didn't even get all of them because they came out with, like, a wave two shortly after I had collected almost all of the wave one, and I never got the rest of them. So, because I got the main turtles, and I didn't really feel a need to get the other ones, but anyway. So here's Raphael, real quick, and this is the Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I don't know if it's like a, a revamp of the line or whatever, I'm not sure. Um, every once in a while I do notice that they do come with like a re-release of the turtles every once in a while. So maybe that's just what this is, it's just they just re-released it. Um, but he comes with his pupils and the eyes. Um, they do have, they did have some without the pupils and the eyes, so if you don't like that with the Ninja Turtles, obviously you don't have to get those ones, and from what I can tell, they're easier to find than these ones. But, um, he's just a basic figure. He, like, doesn't do anything, like, they don't do anything, um, they're just posable and you can do stuff with them like that. Um, but here's the packaging, and it's hot head wrap, which makes sense. And then it has, on the back... A little blurb about Raphael, and he uh, he is in the team Ninja Turtles. Obviously, he his favorite weapon is a sigh, and um, I'm not gonna read it because I am so out of it. I'm never gonna be able to like completely finish that. Mutated from ooze and raised from the ways of ninjutsu by their, and um, I think there is a splinter that's jointed. So. I might end up getting that as well, um, but we'll see, um, cause I do have mutated, like the mutant line, I do have the splinter that goes to that line, so I might just use that one, we'll see, but yep, there's Raphael, and here's Michelangelo, and he comes, they all come with like extra weapons and stuff, which is nice, he comes with his two nunchucks, all orange and then this is what is <laughs> jokester Mikey again perfectly describes him I forgot what um, his packaging said I didn't keep it or anything so and then in the back here's a little blurb if you want to read it and then his favorite thing is nunchucks or Kitsuragima Kitsuragima I don't know, I probably totally said that wrong, but it's nunchucks. And down here they actually have a list of different, a bunch of different figures that you can get, which a lot of these I haven't seen in a while. Mainly the ones I've seen are the Halloween ones, so I don't know. I do want to get an April and a Casey Jones, because I don't even have any of those, um, not even in the mutant line, I don't have them, so I might try and find those. We'll see. Um, I don't know how far I want to go into like action figures right now, but I know I wanted the rest of the turtles. But here's Donnie, and he has his staff, and then obviously extra weapons right there. And then he's Tech Donnie, or Tech. It's like, I don't know, Tech doesn't really... Tech Donnie sounds like they're calling him a robot. He's not a robot. But 
And it looks like these are all different sculpts. Oh, it could be... Oh, yeah, his shell is different. I don't know, we'll, we'll look at it more when I pop them out of the box, so... And then here's the back, and you guys can read the blurb. And then his favorite weapon is the... Another word I can't pronounce, but it's six foot bow staff with blade. Oh, it has a blade on it? I don't see a blade. I don't know. But that's what <laughs> that's what his uh, thing is saying. I think it just means, like, staff in general, probably. Um, Surrealer. I almost want to make, like, a little area for them, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to go that deep yet. <laughs> but um, these are really making me feel better, so I'm happy that I got more of them. Um, if you guys watch my vlog, you guys know I haven't been feeling the best, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. I'm going to pop these out, um, and I'll probably play with them a little bit before I finish the review, because I'm too hyped right now. Um, the reason I'm doing the review is because I, I, I got to do this part before the I unbox them. So, yeah. I'll be right back. And welcome back. They're out of the box and this is my second time doing this because like I was trying to record when I came back and apparently my, my camera didn't charge so um, I'm just going to start all over. <laughs> so first I kind of wanted to show you um, like these are what I had previous and I'm pretty sure I might have reviews on these. I don't remember. But they're pretty, like, they'll seem pretty basic compared. Like, they don't have elbow joints. Their arms are just, like, ball joints. And they're supposed to do this, by the way. And these are just, like, the mutant line. They're supposed to be so, like, you can pop and make your own mutant and stuff with the other things. Um, but I like the faces on these ones a little bit more just because they're a little more neutral. But... I just kind of wanted to show you guys what these look like compared to, like, this. For one, they're, like, a little bit bigger. These ones are a little bit bigger. You can kind of see that. But, uh, the posability on these guys is super awesome. I'm loving these. And I'm pretty sure probably I'll most likely end up doing, like, a comic after this. Um, what I mean by that is I forgot my phone. is I've been doing these little comics just for fun, just because I had boredom and wanted to play with my figures. Um, so like, you can see how well they pose and they are balanced, he's balancing on his own and stuff. And that's not really a pose, he just fell, but you know. So, I'm having a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff for whatever reason but they basically hinge and swivel at the shoulder same thing at the like the elbow and then his wrist they're all of them have the same posability so I'm not gonna do it like 3,000 times but all, uh, all of their wrists move and stuff like that and you know and all of them have like the grippy hands for like weapons and stuff so, like, Leo comes with, like, obviously he's, his swords. Um, online, these sashes and I think one or two other pieces on him are brown instead of this blue color, which I actually kind of like the blue color better. better. Don't know why. But, um, there's sashes. And it's rubbery, and I, I guess if you really wanted to, you can, like, there's the seam right there. So, I mean, you can take it off if you want, I guess. I think it's glued, so I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> but the cool thing is, like, this piece right here always bothered me when I was, like, posing or playing with him. It comes off. It just unplugs. And you can just have him like this. Because it is pretty chunky, and it just being plugged in, it's kind of, like, flimsy and, and different stuff like that. Um, and then here's his face mold. 
which they all have different bodies, different body pieces. They are all complete different turtles, like different molds. They're all different, which is something I like. Uh, I hate it when companies have like a similar thing so they just like remold it like a billion times just in different colors or whatever like that. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. Again, I apologize if I'm just like bleh. It, it's one of those days. Anyway. So, and his head's a ball joint. Like, it's literally, it'll, you can pop it off and it's like this cool little ball. Which, I hope they have other turtles that that are probably cheaper that have the same kind of mechanism for the head. That way I can have the, get a different face to put on here. So, because I would like more neutral faces. Um, that's one thing that bothers me. It's like the only thing that bothers me actually out of this these toys is their faces are very like er and I wish they were a little more neutral which is why I love these ones so much. Mm. Eh. So that's Leo um, and he's a very and they're all different colored green colors which is good because that's how they are in the show. So, like, he is more like a forest, foresty green. Um, Raph is more like a, like an actual, like, Christmas green, I guess. He is more like an olive green. And then he is more of like a, uh, what's it called? Bright, it's like a brighter green. More like a, it has more yellow in it, so it's like a lot brighter. Um. And then they all come with extra weapons. So his standard weapons are these two katana. One is longer than the other. So this is the longer one. And I'll show you. Because they, they do, like I didn't notice it at, at first either. But they are, one is shorter than the other. So. And the shorter one goes on top. So the shorter one goes right here and the longer one's down here. But he came with an extra, which these are more like katanas and these are more like, sam like this is more like a samurai sword. It's slightly bigger um, and uh, if you actually look at his swords compared to this, this is very different. So he comes with this extra sword, three little kunai, I think it's, I'm pretty sure what they're called, little knives, three of those. Two throwing stars, which, if you want to see what these look like in the hand, I mean, see, they're kind of like, like that. And I bet you can get them positioned a little bit differently, depending on how you put them in the hand. But they can't, he can hold them. And then he also came with this extra little knife, which I'm not sure why, because it's really, really small. It looks quite strange in his hand in my opinion it looks a little odd so those are his extra weapons that he came with um so there's him next is Raphael and um like you can definitely see like even his front shell piece is a lot different like they like he has his crack and stuff so it's one thing that makes me really happy about this I like different oh and um when it comes to posability like I think I, I don't know if I told you guys this but like he, they also bend at the knee and then it's like a swivel at the top along with a hinge but the shell front shell pieces are like a soft rubber so you can make them uh, sit if you want so you can see like it it's folding in right here because I haven't played with it yet, so it's not, like, super soft. But, like, you make them sit and the shell is not going to get in the way or anything. Um, and then his his sash is just, like, a belt. And each one of them, I, I am pretty happy, come with little pieces, little areas that you can stick their weapons in. So... And all of them come with extra weapons, just in case you were wondering. 
Okay. And then here's his face mold. Again, they all have like this grr kind of face. Well, Donnie is more like, mmm. But I like, I like, uh, it's very fitting for Raph to have this like very angry face. And I like how his bandana is like flowing off to the side and stuff. And they're all textured too, it's not just like smooth and stuff. And then here's his little kunai, which they're very cool. One thing I do like is that these are in silver, along with like, um, you can see Leo's is in silver as well. But Donnie and um, Mikey. Their weapons are in like this weird dark brown color. Here, I'll show you real quick, just if I can get them in hand. So, like, his is in a darker brown, where Mikey's is in like this orangey brown color. So, I might have to do some painting on some pieces, depending. I don't know yet. Um, that was pretty much Mikey, or not Mikey, Donatello. Leon, not. Raphael, oh my god, my brain is garbage today, I'm sorry. Um, and he has the same, like, ball joint. Although his head seems to be a little more on the bigger side, so he doesn't have as, as much posability. Just the way his head is shaped. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it's part of it is, the, is him, his angry face, so. But he still has some pretty good posability. Which is good. And then, of course, like I said, he has the same posability as, like, Leo and stuff. My back is killing me. Oh, I'm gonna lay down after this. His weapons are included right here. So he has two stars right here, like throwing stars. This looks like a half of his, um, what is it, scythe? So you can see... That this is looks like half of this piece right here. And it's only one. And then I love these swords right here. They're so cool looking. And I'll definitely probably take some pictures with him using these. They're really cool looking. And, oh. He does have two. I didn't realize there's one right here and one right here. And then the two stars are right there. And then these two swords right here. That's really cool. Didn't even pay attention. And you just clip them out. And what I did is use some jewelry, like, wire cutters. And just clip the plastic as close to the weapon as possible. So I get a clean, like, as clean as a... So you can see, like, there's kind of... Right there and right there. So. Next is Donatello. So he looks really cool. He is the tallest out of the four, which is good because they all have their perspective heights, even like in figure form. So that's really awesome and makes me really happy. Like he's taller, he's a little more lanky, which is cool. And I think, you know, I feel like he, he might have a little bit more posability just because he's not a thick figure. So, because like... Leonardo and, and, and Raph are a little thicker, so I feel like sometimes in certain points it's a little harder to pose, but I feel like he's going to be fun. And his his tails are really, really long. And then, he, like I said, he just has like this little grimacing face. It's really cute. I love Donnie. And then they all have these cool little peg holes, so... I don't know if that goes to like a set that's out there. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to be buying a set. I don't even know if I'm going to be buying more yet. So. I like the look. Like look there's a little scaly texture right there on his arm. That's really cool. I always find like new stuff whenever I like sit down and look at these things. It's really cool. His back of him. And he has this little holder for his staff, which is really cool. Like, the staff doesn't bother me. It's when um, there's metal, like like a blade, 
why would the blade be brown so I'm gonna have to paint that unlike Mikey the chains are brown where they're not brown in real life and stuff like that but this is really cool and these are eight something at Walmart and nine something at Target and um these are actually really good figures for that price like these feel like they'd probably be like more along the lines of $15 figures in my opinion especially with the posability that they have so that's really really awesome and then here is his pieces so remember when I said he didn't have a staff with a knight with like a pointed sword end that's what this is right here so he has his staff but here's the sword at the end or blade whatever you want to call it and then he also has a three-part staff so that's really cool it's like a it's like nunchucks but in um, but there's three pieces almost and then these are kind of like throwing stars except they're more like throwing blades so that's really cool I'm gonna have to play around with the, with the bigger weapon like this this piece because it's all one piece so I'm gonna play with this and see what what I can do with it what kind of poses I can get out of it this is gonna be real fun I'm gonna have to paint this though and then lastly we have Michelangelo and he is so cute he feels smaller because he is the smallest out of the group um, like here's a comparison with Leo like they're foot to foot Obvi he's like obviously taller so he's proportionately smaller it's not like he's a smaller figure or whatever and then like here's him next to Donnie who is super tall and then I didn't do a comparison with Donnie but like here we go so I like that they're all varying in, in, in heights and Leo and, and Raphael are pretty much the same size so but here he is, he's like so small. I love him. And then he's got like the same, he he's actually got a little more head posability it looks like than like Raphael or Leo. He's so, he's so cute and small. I love it. And then of course his like banding is all orange and stuff. And then he's got his nunchucks back here so. These are awesome. I'm gonna have the pink chains though. He's got like little scuffs on his chest. That's really cool. I really like how how different each figure is. Um, and I feel like I'm being repetitive, but you know. Okay, and here is his extra weapons. So he gets this. It's like a nunchuck with a blade on it. So that's going to be really cool. He's got two more throwing stars which are very similar. Oh yeah, they're the exact same thing as the throwing stars. Or they might be slightly smaller, I don't know. No, they're the exact same thing as the throwing stars that Raph came with. And then he's got these smaller throwing stars right here. So, that's cool. I like that they came with extra weapons as well. Like I said, my only nick nitpick is the fact that um, they're in a dark brown color where a majority of all the weapons are supposed to be a metal color so it's not something I totally get but I mean it's something I can easily do is just paint it so it's not that big of a deal uh, and I just realized it says Mikey right there do they all have that? That They do. That one says Raph. That's funny. And like I said, you can easily just pop these out. Um, you know, like... I want to get a cleaner cut, so I'm not going to pop them out on camera. But that's... That's my turtles. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with these guys. I'm going to take some pictures on Instagram, so if you guys want to know... Like, in better detail what they look like. I suggest going there. 
I love them. I love them so much, and I'm so excited, and I'm so ready to play with them and take some pictures and, and do some cool little little story stuffs. Maybe I don't know, but thank you for watching me just ramble around, ramble about my turtles because I love them so much. Um, if this is something you guys would like to watch, see more of, just let me know. Because I'll probably do a review when I get more. Like I said, I kind of want to get some of the... One or two of the other characters that I don't have at all. Um, like April and um, the, the other dude. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! Can't hold it. Okay, bye. <laughs>